I noted in those parts of the lecture series that while many economists are opposed to this sort of government intervention on efficiency grounds, efficiency is not the only standard upon which outcomes can be judged. An alternative standard is equity or fairness. Politicians sometimes appear to be more concerned with equity than efficiency. They want to facilitate outcomes that their constituents perceive as fair. Minimum wage laws clearly result in efficiency losses. Surpluses of labor or increased unemployment clearly result from minimum wage laws, but they are supported by many people in the political arena on the grounds of their notions of basic fairness. We could allow the prevailing price of labor to be set by market forces, but if we did, they argue, too many people would not earn a living wage. Too many people would not be able to provide a decent standard of living for themselves or their families. In the 20th century, many members of Congress, whose constituents were largely farmers, supported agricultural price floors on equity grounds. It was deemed unfair to farmers to allow the price of grain or the price of milk to fall too low. Local politicians in New York City support rent controls because they contend that many people would not be able to live in the city if, rent, if rental properties were to be deregulated. It's an argument about basic fairness.